Whoa, you made it to day number five of the Cold Shower Curious Challenge. Congratulations. You've been engaging with a little bit of cold every single day. You've been upping your bar, so raising your own bar, and you've been measuring your progress so that no matter what progress you're making, no matter how big, no matter how small, you're seeing that there are incremental gains that are happening happening for you just as a result of how you're attuning your awareness. Even if you've just been listening to these videos and not actually doing anything with cold, your awareness is shifting. And that I tell you is definitely something to be celebrated. So I've got a two-fold challenge for you for the final day of the Cold Shower Curious Challenge. Number one is for those of you who are going hardcore. You've been building up each each uh, day this week, and I want to actually invite you to take an ice bath today. So grab a couple of bags of ice from your grocery store, throw them into your bathtub, or if you've got something outside that you can use, that would be even better. Fill it with water, and then get in and stay for as long as you can, Right. It might be 30 seconds, it might be a minute, but you find out how long you can stay because you're noticing your state of equanimity, right? Going back to the Gita, six, seven the other day. I have my Gita here, but let's see if I remember the verse. Jitatmana pramasya prasat. Jitatmana prashantasya paramatma samadita shitosna sukadukeshu tatamana pamana yo. So one who has conquered the mind, the super soul has already reached, for they have attained tranquility. To such a person, happiness and distress, heat and cold, honor and dishonor are all the same. So you'll know when it's time to step out of your ice bath. Hey, for some of you, it might just be putting some ice in a bucket with some water and dipping your hand in. That's Kaizen approach. That's making a 2% step in the direction. All right. So whatever your way is. And then the second part of the challenge that I thought would be kind of fun, because some of you are going to be like, I'm not doing a nice bath. It's just like too much too soon. And I, I'd say like, yeah, respect that discernment. I want you to put on a song and take a cold shower and actually like dance it out in your cold shower, have a dance party and actually feel the energy move. Don't slip in your tub. So disclaimer to like, I don't want the cold shower curious challenge to be responsible for hurting anybody. <laughs> So don't slip and fall on your tongue. But um, I'll tell you, there was a time when I decided I'm going to put on, I think I put on Mr. Brightside by the Killers and I took a cold shower and it was like, it was enlivening. I felt the energy just like pulsing through me. And then for the whole rest of my day, you know, made a huge, huge difference. So I just want to say I'm so proud of you and proud of the work that you've been doing on the challenge this week. So today should really be a chance for you to celebrate yourself for all the effort that you've been put, putting in, even if it's just attuning your consciousness in a slightly different way, thinking about edges and positive stretch, stressors in a slightly different way. You're already miles ahead than a lot of other people. Because here's the thing, you guys, it's like if you don't evolve your habits and if you don't organize and order your life in some meaningful and purposeful way, culture will drag you down. You know, there are there are forces in this world that we will fall subject to if you're not in the driver's seat of your own life, taking initiative, understanding where you're sourcing from. All right. So hopefully your realizations are increasing. That's been a huge part of me with my journey with cold. It's like woken me up really to my intuition, my wisdom my discernment, and my depth. So you're going to hear from me one more time tomorrow. I would love to offer every single person who completed this challenge a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me where we can actually discuss some of your realizations and then work them into practical, actionable habits and ways of being that are going to benefit you. And we can really talk about like, why? What exactly are you looking to improve in your life and what small 2% changes and habits can you be doing today? It's going to move you closer to that goal. All right, everyone. Once again, congratulations. Thanks so much for doing the challenge. Enjoy this last day. And oh yeah, don't forget, share your results, share your realizations. Today's a great day for a photo or a video. You dancing out to the song or engaging in the ice bath. We love to see it. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Have a good one.